Hello everyone and welcome back to another week of learning how to build applications using Microsoft Power Platform. My name is Andrea and I'll be walking you through how to create authentication for your Power Apps portal. This is important to add to your portal if you do not want everyone and anyone to have access to your site. Redeeming an invitation code allows a registering visitor to be associated with an existing contact record that was prepared in advance for that visitor. After the visitor redeems that invitation, the normal user registration process takes place. Thanks for following along. So the first thing you're going to do is navigate to make.powerapps.com, then navigate to apps. Once you're there, travel to the portal management application, and this will take you to the model-driven app. Then from the left-hand side, you're going to navigate to contacts. From here, you're going to create a new contact or select from an existing contact. Right now, we're going to create a new contact. I've created a new contact named Jane Doe, and now we're going to navigate to Invitations. We're going to select New, and we're going to type in Jane Doe's information here. I have added our Jane Doe, given her an expiration date for this invitation, and added an invitation code. This will be unique to her. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to hit Save, select the ellipsis, select flow, and send invitation. Hit OK. And the status will change to sent. Then we can click save and close, and we can see all of our open invitations. We can take that invitation code and go back to the portal. So we'll navigate back to the maker portal, and we'll select play when we get to the portal. We can click on the sign in here, select redeem invitation, and type in our invitation code. Click register, and this will automatically populate Jane's email. So we can fill this out to register for a local account. So I filled this out, I'll click register, and that registers Jane Doe's profile. So now, once we hit update, we'll be signed in as Jane Doe. And we can go back and select the profile, update anything, or sign out. Then when we go back to the portal management app and hit this refresh button, that open invitation is now under completed invitations. So that's it. That's all it takes. You have now successfully created an invitation for a contact within your environment. You can create as many invitations as you'd like. There are other ways to authenticate a user including Azure AD or third-party logins like LinkedIn, Facebook, Google, and others. Thanks for watching.